Welcome to this video. Uh, this will be a basic tutorial on what VBS is and some of the basics of programming with VBS. I'm going to open up Notepad++. This is a great program used to uh, run uh, some programming code. Uh, if you can with VBS, right click anywhere, say new text document, and then when you edit it, um, you can write whatever you want, file, save as, and I'll give the name, whatever you want your name to be, dot VBS. When you put a dot VBS, then it will write this nifty program, and that's a VB script that's executable. That doesn't work because I haven't written code, but that's how you can make a VB script on just Notepad, and if you don't want to install Notepad++. With that being said, let's get started. Um, well, let's start off with message boxes. Uh, this is a way to display information. So I can say message box and then in quotations, hello. I'll do hello world. And uh, I don't want to save it in system 32. I'll put it in the desktop. So I called it program.vbs. If I run it, it says hello world in a message box. There are many different kinds of message boxes. Um, I can say hello world, comma, 20, and that will give me a critical message box. And so it gives me a, a critical sound and it gives me a red X and a yes or a no. There are all sorts of uh, message boxes. Um, if I say 25, it gives me another one. If I say 15, if I say, <laughs> if I say one, then it gives me another one with OK and cancel. So there's all sorts of message box configurations that you can go with and it's fun to play with and see what you can get. Um, so I'll go with one, and then notice that if when I run this, <laughs> gave me an error. This, this is probably a good thing to cover too. When you get an error, it's saying on line one, character number 22, you'll get an error. Or that there's, some, so there's something wrong at that location. So I'll see if I can move my notepad plus plus around so you can see what's going on. So I'm on line one here, character one. You'll notice as I move over, character two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. And at 22, there's an error. And it says, ah, there should be a comma there. So that's a way to debug um, scripts that make, it, make them easier to debug than batch, if you ask for my opinion. So when I run this, hello world, and it gives me this kind of message box. It's blank up here. If I want writing up here, then I'll comma VBS hello world. So we use a comma to say what kind of message box we want. And then we can specify text up top with another comma. Hello world, and it has our text up here. Uh, I'm going to cut it off there for now. Um, I'll post some more tutorials soon, and that's a good way to uh, have some interface with the user. Hope this video helps. If it does, please subscribe. That's the best way to help me back, and I'll catch you next time.